complete mathematics. Chapter 12 Statistics and Probability Lesson 3 Mean Absolute Deviation Learning Objectives Find the mean absolute deviation of a set of data. Compare the mean absolute deviations of two data sets. Keyword Mean absolute deviation. Find mean absolute deviation. You have found measures of center to describe the middle of a set of data. And you have used the interquartile range to describe the spread of a set of data. The mean absolute deviation is the average distance between each data value and the mean. Example 1. The table shows points scored by a basketball player in his last seven games. Find the mean absolute deviation. Describe what the mean absolute deviation represents. The points scored are 17, 22, 17, 30, 15, 17, and 8. First step is to find the mean. We know very well that the mean is the total of the data divided by their number. And since we have seven numbers here, or seven values, we will add all together and divide them by seven to get the mean. The mean is 18. Step two, find the absolute value of the difference between each value in the data set and the mean. So we'll take the absolute value between each value in the data set and the mean. So absolute of 17 minus 18, 1, 22 minus 18, 4, 17 minus 18, 1, 30 minus 18, 12, absolute value of 15 minus 18 is 3, absolute value of, uh, absolute value of 8 minus 18 is 10. Step 3. Find the average of the absolute values. We will add 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 12 plus 3 plus 1 plus 10 and divide them by 7. So the average is approximately 4.57. This is actually the mean absolute deviation. So the mean absolute deviation is about 4.57. This means that the average distance between the mean points per game and the actual points per game is 4.57 points. Compare variation. You can compare the mean absolute deviation for two data sets. A data set with a greater mean absolute deviation has data values that are more spread out from the mean than a data set with a smaller mean absolute deviation. Example 2. The dot plot shows the highest of the grade 8th and grade 7th in the class club. Grade 8 height in centimeters and grade 7 height in centimeters provided to us by a dot plot. Find the mean absolute deviation for each set of data. We will find the mean of grade 8 height by adding all the values together and divide them by the number of dots. So the mean of grade 8 heights are um, the mean of grade 8 heights is 157.5 centimeters. Find the mean absolute deviation of the grade 8 heights. We will find the absolute difference between each value in the data set and the mean. So we are getting 147.5 minus 157.5 inside the absolute values term. Similarly, we will get the rest of the values. 5, 2.5, 0, 2.5, 2.5, 2.5, and 10. To find the mean absolute deviation, we will find the mean of these values. So we will write 10 plus 5 plus 2.5 plus 0 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 2.5 plus 10. And these are 8 values. So we'll divide them by 8. 
So the mean absolute deviation is 4.375 centimeters. We will do the same with grade seven heights. First step is to find the mean. The mean is the summation of all the values divided by the number of the values. So the mean of grade seven heights is 162.5 centimeters. Find the mean absolute deviation of grade seven heights. So we will find the difference between the mean and each single data in the grade seven heights inside the absolute value. So 12.5, 10, 7.5, 7.5, 2.5, 0, 17.5, and 22.5 are the distances between each value and the mean. Last step is to find the mean absolute deviation by adding all of these values together and divide them by 8. So the mean absolute deviation is 10 centimeters for grade 7 heights. Write a few sentences comparing their variation. The mean absolute deviation for the grade 8 heights is much less than the grade 7 heights. The data for grade 8 are closer together than the data for grade 7. Next question one. The table shows the number of rose petals on several types of roses. Find the mean absolute deviation. Describe what the mean absolute deviation represents. The table contains 10 values of rose petals. 22, 16, 35, 45, 17, 26, 33, 35, 20, and 52. You can pause the video now and try it yourself. First step is to find the mean. The mean is the summation of all of these values divided by the number of the values which is there. So the mean is 30. Second step is to find the absolute difference. To find the absolute difference between each single value of the rose petals and the mean. So we will write 22 minus 30 inside the absolute value equal 8. 16 minus 30 inside the absolute value equal 16. 35 minus 30 inside the absolute value equal 5. The absolute value of 44 minus 30 is 14. 17 minus 30 inside the absolute value is 13. Absolute value of 26 minus 30 is 4. Absolute value of 33 minus 30 is 3. 35 minus 30 is 5. Absolute value of 20 minus 30 is 10. 52 minus 30 is 22. Step 3 is to find the average of the absolute difference. The average of this absolute difference is the mean absolute deviation. So it's 9.8. The mean absolute deviation is 9.8. This means that the average distance between the number of rose battles and the actual number of battles is 9.8 points. Five conclusions. The table shows the yards gained by an American football team on their first 10 plays. Yards gained are negative 9.5, 12.5, 17.5, negative 4, negative 6. 12, 8.5, negative 2.5, 21.5, and 6.5. A. Find the mean and the mean absolute deviation of the data set. B. Explain why the mean absolute deviation is greater than the mean. We will start finding the mean absolute deviation by finding the mean. The mean is the summation of all of this data divided by their number, which is the so we will add all the values together and divide them by 10 to get the mean. The second step is to find the absolute difference between each value and the mean. Absolute value of negative 9.5 minus 5.65 is 15.15. Absolute value of 12.5 minus 5.65 is 18.15. Similarly, we will find the rest of the data. 
Step three is to find the average of the recent data, of this data. So the mean absolute deviation is the summation of 15.15 plus 18.15 plus 11.85 plus 9.65 plus 11.65 plus 6.35 plus 2.85 plus 8.15 plus 15.85 plus 0 0.85. Adding all of them and dividing by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They are 10 values, so we'll divide by 10. Then the mean absolute deviation is 8.92. That was the first requirement. The second is to explain why the mean absolute deviation is greater than the mean. We got here the mean absolute deviation is 8.92. Where the mean is 5.65. So why the mean absolute deviation is greater than the mean here? The mean absolute deviation is greater than the mean because some of the data points are negative, which make the mean smaller while adding them. However, for the mean absolute deviation, we take the absolute value of the difference. The table below shows Hamel bowling score during two different months of his bowling league. Find the mean absolute deviation of each set of data, round to the nearest hundred, then write a few sentences comparing their variation. This is Hamad's bowling score for September and April. The mean is 98 plus 103 plus 116 plus 95 plus 90 plus 118 plus 101 plus 121 plus 94 divided by 9. So it's 104. Absolute differences are 6, 9, 1, 14, 12, 14, 3, 17, and 10. The mean absolute deviation is 6 plus 9 plus 1 plus 14 plus 12 plus 14 plus 3 plus 17 plus 10 divided by 9. So the mean absolute deviation is 9.56. We can do the same to find the mean absolute deviation for the data in April. We will start with the mean, adding all the data together and divide by 9, which is their number. So the mean is 125. The absolute difference is 125 minus each value inside the absolute value. So 112 minus 125 is 11, 118 minus 125 is 7, 25, 0, 27, 3, and 25. The main absolute deviation is the summation of all of these data divided by 9, which is the number of the data. So it's 11.11. .11. He says, then write a few sentences comparing their variation. The polling scores in April vary more than the scores in September because April scores have higher mean absolute deviation. Activity. A carpenter has wooden parts with length of 4 meters, 8 meters, 7 meters, and 3 meters. A. What is the mean absolute deviation of the measurements? To find the mean absolute deviation, we need to add all the values and divide by 4 in order to get the mean. And then we will find the absolute difference between the mean and each single value. And the absolute difference are... 2, 2, 3, and 3. Now the mean absolute deviation is the total of the absolute difference divided by the number of them. So 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 divided by 4 is 2.5. B. Suppose the length of the parts were given in centimeters. What is the mean absolute deviation in centimeters? Since they are given in centimeters, so we need to convert first 
the length from meters to centimeters. We know very well that one meter contains 100 centimeters. So four meters is 400, eight meters is 800, seven meters is 700, and three meters uh, is 300 centimeters. So the mean is 400 plus 800 plus 900 plus 300 divided by four or 600. And the mean absolute deviation can be found as follows. The absolute value of 400 minus 600 is 200. The absolute value of 800 minus 600 is 200. Absolute value of 300 minus 600 is 300. And the absolute value of 900 minus 600 is 300. So the mean absolute deviation is 200 plus 200 plus 300 plus 300 divided by 4 or 250. C. The mean absolute deviation of meters is 100 times the mean absolute deviation of centimeters. Make a conjecture. The prices in dirhams of five items are 5, 9, 16, 27, and 43. What will happen to the mean absolute deviation if each price increases by three dirhams? What will happen to the mean absolute deviation if each price is doubled? We will see first what is the mean absolute deviation. If each price increases by 3 dirhams, the mean will also increase by 3. Then the mean absolute deviation will be the same as before because we will subtract while finding the absolute difference. Thus, the mean absolute deviation will not change. B. If each price doubled, the mean will also be doubled. Then the mean absolute deviation will get doubled. Thus, the mean absolute deviation will be doubled. Summary. We have learned today that the mean absolute deviation is the average distance between each data value and the mean. A data set with a greater mean absolute deviation has data values that are more spread out from the mean. Plenary, number 15, which describe the mean absolute deviation of the data. The values of the data set represents distance in kilometers 60, 40, 15, 25, 30, 35, and 40. The average distance between each data value and the main absolute deviation is 10 kilometers. The average distance between each data value and the mean is 10 kilometers. The average distance between the mean and the mean absolute deviation is 10 kilometers. The average distance between each data value is 10 kilometers. The first step is to find the mean. And then we will see if the average distance between each data set and the mean is 10 kilometers or not. I think it's yes, choice B. Number 16, which data set has a mean absolute deviation of 4? The absolute distance between each value and 6 is 1 minus 6 is 5, 6 minus 6 is 0, 11 minus 6 is 5. So we have 5 plus 5 divided by 3, that's not 4. We will do similarly the rest to observe that each is the correct answer. Number 17, what is the mean absolute deviation of Mona sign scores shown blue? 70, 82, 84, 94. You can find it yourself and the answer is 6.5. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.